Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America and Stormy Daniels has testified today and it has backfired. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out and they help our channel continue to grow. Adult film actress Stormy Daniels has testified in the hush money case brought by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Her testimony as we speak here is ongoing and it's already backfired. A legal analyst on CNN was talking about it, and here's what happened. Stormy Daniels, the prosecution tried to, quote, humanize her, end quote, and apparently that failed miserably. She was cracking jokes on the witness stand and trying to be cute and funny, and the jury, stone-faced. Not even a snicker, nothing, no laughter at all from the audience, or from the audience, from the jury during the trial. And... A legal analyst on CNN, of all places, he said, look, what Stormy Daniels is doing right now, because the jury's taking this case seriously, if she comes off as glib, it is going to be a massive backfire, and it likely ends with Trump walking out of there without a conviction. I want you to take a look at this report and see what they had to say, and then let me know what you think when you like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm Carmine Sabia for Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody. Beyond the norm, she says, while looking at the jury. Uh, Jake, let's go back to you. Thanks, Anderson. So, yeah, we have uh, Stormy Daniels on the stand right now in Donald Trump's hush money cover-up case. Uh, and she's talking about how she got into the world uh, of adult films and also, as you mentioned, Anderson, uh, talking about some of the more mainstream uh, entertainment projects uh, she's been in. Uh, the jury, we're told, is not reacting to her laughs and at, time her at times her blunt testimony. Um, and uh, what is the purpose, uh, uh, Bill Brennan, of the prosecutors eliciting from her the information not only about uh, how she got into a, the, the world of adult films, uh, pornographic films, but also that she'd been in a Maroon 5 video, that she'd been in a Rob Zombie video, that she'd been in at least two works by, uh, by auteur uh, Judd Apatow, uh, the knocked up in The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Asked if she discussed Trump in connection with politics on her podcast. She says, yes, of course. She no longer hosts the podcast because she was fired. Um, what, what is the purpose of all this? From the Because the prosecution is doing this. Jake, I think the prosecutor, Ms. Hoffinger, is trying to humanize Stormy Daniels before this jury. But the latest reports say that, you know, they don't seem to be re, uh, reacting to her laughs or not laughing with her. I mean, it seems like a lot of information that's irrelevant to what we're uh, looking for in this trial. And if she comes across as glib, it's going to backfire yeah. the prosecutor. She said, I was reluctant to just continue talking about that one narrative, you know, this case, Daniel says. So I guess, uh, Ellie Honig, she's suggesting that the reason she no longer hosts the podcast, she was fired from it, is because she kind of wanted to move on from this one issue. Yeah. Uh, and the podcaster probably, I'm, I'm guessing here, thought, well, that's really what you're known for, so we want you to talk about that. Trump, we're right. told, is leaning back in his chair, shifting a little in his seat. So I think a couple things are happening here. I agree with Bill. I think they're trying to humanize her for the jury. I'm not actually worried from the prosecutor's point of view about what the jury's going to make of the adult film business and her involvement in it. This is a Manhattan jury. I've tried cases in front of Manhattan juries involving strip clubs and a, a shakedown of the pornography industry. So they're fine. They're all right, grown-ups. Right now, yeah. uh, she's talking about the draft stormy campaign for Senate in Louisiana.